Over 170,000 people in the United States are expected to be diagnosed with blood cancers every year. And one of the most commonly diagnosed blood cancers is non-Hodgkin lymphoma, a cancer that starts in white blood cells. There's a form of this cancer that often goes undiagnosed. And today, Dr. Mohamed Imam, medical oncologist at the Florida Cancer Specialists and Research Institute, is joining us with the truth about one of America's rarest blood cancers. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Well, what is non-Hodgkin lymphoma and what are the risk factors for the disease? Very good. So, you know, non-Hodgkin lymphoma is a little bit more difficult to understand because we know that colon cancers start from the colon. We know where that is. We know that breast cancer starts from the breast. We know where that is. But non-Hodgkin lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is part of your immune system. So it's always in the background and you and I don't deal with it on a normal basis unless there is cancer within it and then it starts to grow bigger. So that's non-Hodgkin lymphoma is essentially a cancer that starts within the lymph nodes, within the immune system. And blood cancers can be harder to detect because there are not many symptoms like there are with other cancers. Very true. They, um, they are harder to detect. Uh, most patients, they could be walking around with an enlarged mass for, many, for a longer period of time. But um, I think when patients usually, it starts to bother them when they present to their physician, then their physicians are able to diagnose them by doing a biopsy. Are there any recent treatment advances that you're optimistic about? So it, to be honest with you, uh, it is in 2018 an exciting time to be an oncologist treating follicular lymphomas, which are these slow growing lymphomas. Now these lymphomas, these slow growing, they're not curable, so, but patients will, may live with this diagnosis for many years. So the first type of treatment is usually chemotherapy uh, combined with immune therapy that can put patients into remission for many years. Doctor, why is it so important that we start this dialogue and generate awareness, not just with patients, but with our doctors as well? So I think it's important so that patients can get diagnosed earlier and so that patients and their physicians can start to plan their treatments. Often patients initially won't need any treatment, but then when they do need symptoms, when they do have symptoms and need treatment, you'll have to have an advanced plan. You've made some very good points and also brought a light of hope to this topic. But when people hear the word cancer, they think that there's no hope. We do have lots of great websites that patients can go to. Uh, one of them is called LLS. Uh, .org from the Leukemia Lymphoma Society and another is allbloodcancers.org. But I think the best, the best person to go to for your research is your oncologist. To find more information about this segment, log on to our website, fox4morningblend.com.